Hey, and welcome back to another Disney Dreamlight Valley video. Today we are going to be making some dresses in the Touch of Magic tool together. We'll make two dresses today. One is a little light blue dress and one's a dark blue dress, so stick through and we can make them together. The first thing we want to do is go to the wardrobe categories and click customize and we're going to add a new dress. We will scroll down to the cottage dress and select that and hit create. This can be whatever color you want. If you want to change it to blue or red or green, you just click on this bottom here and you can go through all these different colors. I will go with a nice light blue like so. So the first thing I want to do is go into my shapes and if we click on all, we can kind of scroll down and you will see this kind of cool pattern one. So that is also under the flourish section and you can choose whichever one you want. We will go with this one right here. So I'm going to drag this all the way to the bottom and make it as large as I can. So that way it just lines up just along one side like this. Now if we go into this little cube down here, you can go up and you can use this mirror reflect and it will reflect the pattern across. So now when we grab one side, the other will do the exact same. So we will rotate this and we're gonna overlap them just slightly while keeping them in line with this. That's great, but it does not connect in the back. So what we have to do is basically do the exact same thing on the back of the dress. So we'll go back into our flourishes, select this, bring it down. We'll go to the side so we can make sure it's about the same size like that. Very nice. And we will go to the right hand side a little bit. Make sure we can view it, rotate a smidge, go in here, reflect. And you can kind of see they're still overlapping a bit. So we want to drag them down and maybe even shrink it a little bit while rotating. Overlap is okay because when your character's running around, you won't notice it as much. So since there's a lot of overlap on the side, what we have to do is go back into here. And sometimes it's easier just to delete this one entirely, go to here, and we can do that rotate and mirror the effect again and rotate it. For the most part, it looks pretty good and about what I wanted. Let's head back out. Let's go into the miscellaneous section and select these pockets. And so what we're gonna do is drag the pocket where we want it. We want it probably off to the side and make it kind of small. So we wanna make sure we're centered with our, the front of our character and shrink these down a smidge. Our character's hands are probably about that big. Reflect, and that should reflect it, whoops, just where we need it to be. And then having them turn down inward a little bit will help a lot. So the next thing we want to do is change the color and we can go in and just make it a little bit lighter. So another fun flourish you can add to your design is these little swirlies. And so I'm going to pick this flourish that comes from the right and we're going to line it up right against the edge of this line here and we'll rotate it so it's lined up just a little bit better like that and we will add in our duplication. That looks good. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's very cute. All right, next up, we are going to go into the shapes. And this is a little weird because they look very bland, but we're gonna grab onto this circle shape. We're gonna bring it all the way up, change the color to white so it matches the bottom of the dress. And we're gonna rotate it, bring it over here, and we'll make it a little bit smaller because we want it to look like a collar. So we're gonna overlap it right here. And now when we go and reflect our thing, it'll be on that side. But the collar's not attached to anything right now. So we can do this and grab a circle, bring it all the way up and stretch it out, make it a little bit bigger, and that should help with the collar. My character's hair is a bit in the way, so it's a little hard to see. So if you're having this problem, just save what you have so far and then change your character's hairstyle. So I'll do that real quick. We can rotate to the back and you can see there's literally nothing back here in terms of her collar. So we're going to go and edit into this dress again and head on over to the back. And I think I'll go with this arch right here. So we'll select this one and we're gonna rotate it to bring it up and make it a bit bigger and then shrink it down and just realign it with where the other ones kind of meet. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's make sure it lines up in the front. It's a little wide in the front, so we're gonna shrink it down a little bit more like so. And you're gonna have sometimes weird little paint splotches. That's just the limitations of the Touch of Magic tool. So don't worry too much about these. They're really not too noticeable on your actual character. But overall, I think this looks pretty good. And there we go, we have a nice little simple dress. It's very summery. The nice thing about doing it this way too is you can actually go in and change the dress to any color you want. So if you wanted it to be yellow, or have accent pockets, you can do all of that. It's very fun, like look at this nice mint green. You can change the flourish colors and the pocket colors. There's all sorts of fun stuff you can do with the Touch of Magic tool. So be sure to just experiment and see what you like and have fun with it. 
So we're actually going to make another dress with the cottage theme, but we're going to make a nice dark blue one and we're going to change up the motifs to have a little bit more fun with it. So we'll go down and select our cottage dress and this time I want it to match my little Mickey Mouse ears, so I'm going to pick the darker blue instead. You can pick whatever color floats your boat. If you want it to be red or green, there's so many choices. Just pick whatever makes you happy. The first thing I'm going to do, again, we're going to go grab those pockets just because we like them so much. We're going to make sure we add extra pockets. Select this little cube. Go into the mirror mode and just align them where it's comfortable. From there we can change the color of them with the paintbrush tool and I'm gonna make them a bit of a bright yellow because I think it'd be really fun. We'll just make sure that it's adjusted so it's nice and even in the front and then we'll click off. That sets the two pockets and now we can have fun with some motifs. So we're gonna go into the character section and I'm gonna use my Mickey and Minnie Mouse ones. If you don't have those you can use whatever ones you want. I just personally like that they're facing each other. So if you find two characters facing each other maybe Goofy and Donald or these two you can really make it however you want so I'm gonna select Mickey right here and put him on this side I'm gonna select Minnie on this one and their triangles are a little bit off center but that's okay and then we're gonna go into our all section and just scroll to see if we find any others we like here's a fireworks one that actually matches really really well so I'm gonna grab this one and put them in between the two so if I look at the gold on these versus the gold on my motifs I'm gonna actually go ahead and make my pockets match that color gold instead and and I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna move Minnie over here and a little bit higher up. We'll move the fireworks down, but I'm gonna rotate it so the diamond is upright, like so. I'm gonna move Mickey, I'm gonna rotate so his diamond is kind of aligned with that one. Now that I finally kind of got these in a placement that I like, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the back side. And on the back, it looks pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is go right in between. We will add a fun little magical stick like this. We're gonna grab it and rotate it up. And we're just gonna kind of have it sparkling up like that. I'm gonna see if we can mirror it on the other side. Maybe we can even have it wrapping around a little bit so it goes like this way. Let's see where that shows in the front. So that's definitely broken in the front, but we'll just get rid of this one. Make sure when we readjust this one, it looks okay. It's all about adjusting the camera. And now we can mirror it to the other side and click off. That should give us some little lines with some sparkles around so it kind of splits, which I think looks really fun. The other thing I'd like to add is maybe some stars coming up right here. Let's go into the celestial section and pick these little sparkly stars. These are some of my favorite to use. And I will put them right here so they kind of align with the edging of this and kind of go down from here. We'll go back in, select the mirror mode, and just make sure they align pretty well. That looks pretty good. So now we have a bunch of sparkles along the bottom, which I think is really fun. Let's move up to the shoulders. And since I have a Mickey theme going on, I'm gonna go get the Mickey Mouse decal. I'm gonna rotate it and shrink it down onto the sleeve like that. And then I will do the mirror trick again so it ends up on the other sleeve on the same spot. That looks pretty good. And now we're gonna do something that's gonna take a little bit of work and a little time, but I think it'll be worth it. We're gonna click on this plus sign, go to shapes, select this one right here, drag it down to about here, and then shrink it so it fits just in line with the bottom of this. Again, don't worry too much if it overlaps with the back side, that's totally fine. We're gonna do it again. Now, since it's out of the center, we can do that and then end up using our mirror tool to make sure it goes on the other sides as well. So here's where the crease is, right here. So we're gonna line it up with that crease. Shrink it down, bring it up maybe a smidge, and then we will mirror it. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty fun. We're gonna keep going. Add a new one, bring it on this side. This one's a double wide, but we're gonna end up going back in and filling the other ones afterward anyway. Line it up here-ish. Make sure it reaches the edges there. Looks good. Mirror it. Click off, scooch toward the back. Add another line, bring it down here. Ooh, this one actually lines up pretty nice. So we're just gonna use it here. Mirror, that looks good. And now we should only need one last one for the back over here. And we'll go back forward and fill in the creases like so. All right, let's fill in these other creases that would be a little bit too wonky because they're so deep. So we're gonna go into our shapes, select this one, bring it right here, shrink it down, pull it up. Make sure it's in line with the other ones. And since it's smaller, that's good because it'll look like it's further back. Select mirror mode. We have one more spot to fill right here. Add that same shape, bring it down, shrink it a little bit, pull it up to match this. Now the corners won't overlap over here. Mirror it to the other side. And now we have this cute trim on the bottom and the little magic wands come out of the trim, which I think looks really, really cute. I think this dress is all set. We can see 
the front and the back. The colors are extra nice. If you wanted to change any of the colors, you can always go in and change each piece. Or if you just want to change the overall dress color, you can go through and change it really easily. The red's really nice for the Mickeys. If you want a little bit more green or blue, there's so many different options. So just pick whatever one's your favorite. I like this one because it matches my little Mickey Mouse ears. So I hope you guys liked the dress designs that we made today with the cute cottage dresses, adding little pockets and flourishes. If you want, there's another version that I've made where I use the other flourish on the bottom. So if you wanted the lighter one and you wanted to see what it looks like, this is basically it. And then we have the blue one with the little bottom here and I have a variant where I rearrange them a little bit more on this side without the trim on the bottom. But really, you can make them however you want. They don't have to be exactly the same. You can have fun with them. But I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what other kind of clothing you'd like to see in the comments. Don't forget to boop the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! There we go. That looks pretty good. Oh, no it doesn't. Hold on. <laughs> Scratch that. I'm going to make them all smaller.